Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Hey, brother Steve, coming back with another video. What up, though? Listen, I'm smiling today. I'm smiling, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I'm smiling. I tell you why I'm smiling. I'm smiling because I get another opportunity and I woke up today. I'm smiling because the Most High has kept me through it all. I'm smiling because I've had an opportunity to, to connect with you. I'm smiling just for that. And I'm thanking the Most High God for your lives, my life, the fact that we get another opportunity to praise our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the truth will prevail and it won't stop. It ain't stopping. See, you can't go back. You can't, you can't go back. The life that you once had no longer exists. Now that you found Christ in this truth. Brothers and sisters, how blessed we are. When you consider all the events that are happening in the earth today, when you consider all the individual experiences and events that you've had, look how good, good the Most High is. All of this knowledge and all this information and all the prophecies are being fulfilled. Everything is coming to fruition and everything is working, working for the good of the whole body of Christ. Children of Israel and my Gentile brothers and sisters, we're in a beautiful time right now. And I say beautiful because if you consider what the Most High has bestowed upon you, the jewels of knowledge and information. How blessed you are. Remember in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, uh, the angel provided, he gave Ezekiel the scroll. He ate the scroll and in his mouth it was sweet and as though he swallowed the knowledge and information once it reached his stomach, it became sour. Now, brothers and sisters, that was at first. But over the course of, over the course of time, Ezekiel taking the initiative to do the work. Knowing that he was going to have to engage with resistance. Well, the Most High knew this, and he warned Ezekiel. And Ezekiel didn't back out of his calling. He proceeded to do the work. Right? Brothers and sisters, we must be, we must, we must stay in, in, in a perpetual state of thanksgiving. We must thank the Most High for giving us our identity back our Bible back. We must thank the Most High God for the teachers, the prophets, the prophetesses. I'm so very, very thankful. I know, uh, well, many of you know uh, about my, my story. You know, I, uh, well, the Most High chose me. And I tried to avert my calling on many occasions. I did. I, I fell in, in, in states and fits of depression and anxiety and rebellion. I did. But brothers and sisters, I'm still here. You're still here. Think about all the, the, the relationships that we're establishing. All the prayers and interceding that we're doing for one another. 
on a daily basis. Brothers and sisters, we are blessed beyond measure. And see, brothers and sisters, when you consider what's at stake here, you hold true to what is precious. And what's precious is this, that the Most High God of Israel, Ahaya, has awoken his children for this particular hour. Ooh, that sun is starting to get bright, brothers and sisters. Let me see if I can uh, just kind of... Uh, yeah. Well, it's okay. We ain't going to worry about it. There's, ain't nothing wrong with a little sunshine. So, brothers and sisters, I just wanted to come up here and tell y'all real quick. Thank the Most High God in Christ every single day. Continue to thank Him. Ahaya, He ran supreme. He's sitting on top of the throne right now, watching, waiting. He's releasing blessings right now in this hour. Yes, he is. All we have to do is continue to be obedient, do his work, forgive, be firm, be bold. Brothers and sisters, that's all we got to do. And on an individual level, do what he's commanded every single one of you individually to do. Like I've said before, we all have a ministry with the Most High in Christ. And some administrations are higher than others. It doesn't matter. Every single position that you play makes a difference. I just want to just come tell y'all, I'm truly, truly thankful. I'm blessed beyond measure. And you know something? To be thankful and not have very much in terms of material things in this world, guess what? It don't mean nothing. Brothers and sisters, I told y'all before in, in some of my previous videos, I was out here homeless for two and a half years. I was out here homeless for two and a half years. And I'm going to share this with y'all. You know what I did? Being out here in this world at a low estate, suffering from spiritual PTSD from all the things that I was going through, from all the things that was so-called coming apart or being taken. Well, the Most High God had to take me through that storm. He had to take me through that season. And as a soldier for Christ, I stepped up and allowed him to use me as a vessel. Like he's using me now. Brothers and sisters, if I had not gone through what I have went through, I wouldn't be here for you. Period. Period. Wouldn't be here. So, at that time, I couldn't understand the preservation the Most High was doing. And he used me in many different capacities. He used me to save lives. I talked to y'all about the people that I encountered they were on the verge of committing suicide. He used me to minister to people that were in adultery. He used me to minister to people that have committed murder. Uh, he used me to minister to people that were operating in occult practices. He used me to minister to people who were sick, physically sick. He put me in the midst of other believers also. He sent people along my way in times of depression. Brothers and sisters, I'm thankful. 
and some of you that have gone through those same experiences, be thankful. In the season, the Most High God is going to release abundance. And however the abundance comes, thank him. I can testify to the abundance. My abundance was spiritual. My abundance was knowledge. And brothers and sisters, I just want to say that in that process, in my process, in my season, in my wilderness, I reached out to people. I bought groceries for people. Now, mind you, being homeless out here, buying groceries, getting people uh, uh, rooms to sleep in. And all during that process, the Most High kept me. He kept me clean. I didn't look like my situation. So I have to testify to that. I have to testify to the goodness of the Most High God. I'm thankful. So I want to encourage every single one of you. Brothers and sisters, some of you right now have acquired a plethora amount of spiritual knowledge. Utilize it for the body of Christ. Continue reading. Continue teaching. Continue healing. Stay immovable and steadfast. And for those who are patiently waiting for the breakthrough, it's coming. And the Most High God is going to pour out. He's going to pour out of that cup. And that cup will run. It will overflow. However it comes, anticipate it. Anticipate your blessing. Anticipate the revitalization that's coming in your life. It's coming. I don't care how it looks. I don't care how it may feel because we know how things look and how things feel. It's only temporary. Brothers and sisters, I'm so very, very thankful. I'm so thankful to every single one of you out there. And I love y'all. I love y'all. Love y'all. Brother Steve wanted to come here and remind you the importance of your life, your calling, and the mission. Brothers and sisters, all glory and praise to the Most High God, Ahaya, Asho, Ahaya, Bashem, Yeshai, Wawa, Kadesh. He gets all the thanks and praise. All right, listen. I'm about to get moving. Y'all have a good evening. This is Brother Steve. And I'm out. Shalom. Peace. Bless you. Y'all stay up. Peace.